Welcome to Hunting Horn Class 101. My name is Muno, and I'm going to teach you as literally as everything I can about the Hunting Horn in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now, if you are coming from Iceborne, this is going to be a whiplash for you because a lot of what you learn there is not in here. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the basics like the buttons. Then we're going to move to the, the switch skills, the silk bind stuff. Uh, I don't, it's hard to recommend builds because you can augment almost anything into anything. So that's going to be a little tough, um, but I'm going to do my best. And then we're going to head out to the field and then we're going to beat up and bully uh, a Rathian because Rathian, <laughs> unless I change my mind between then and now, because uh, that could happen. Before we start, I will say that I have it on infinite use in the training area. Uh, that way I don't have to wait for my silk bond stuff to come back. Everyone get your, um, get your utensils out, your horn, musical instruments. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, first and foremost, the biggest thing is depending on, uh, which style of hunting horn you want to do. Do you want performance mode or do you want echo mode? Now, they both have their pros and cons. Uh, the pros of performance mode, you can play your song so much easier. You just hit two buttons and that will be your song. You don't have to recital to play your song outside of self-improvement. You do need to play, you do need to perform just to get the self-improvement going. But otherwise, um, you just hit two notes and that's how you play your song. For echo mode, the way you play your songs is each song is one button. So as long as that button is up on the musical scale and you go ahead and perform, it'll play all of those songs at once. There is some secret tech with the performance mode and this makes performance mode pretty, pretty decently good. Um, and that is, come on, you have iframes at the start of your performance. And essentially, you can go through most of any type of beam blast as long as it's not too slow because your iframes mostly start at the very beginning, uh, not really towards the end. So you can probably still get hit by stuff. Uh, it could be if something's like a multi hitting attack. Yeah, it's probably it's probably hitting you. <laughs> it's probably hitting you. Um, and the the cool stuff about the echo mode, I will get into that later because there's something with one of the silk bind moves. Uh, so now, the buttons. Much like Ice Spawn, you still got your left swing, which is without moving the stick, right swing, and then both of them together is still your backwards strike. That's still the same. That's still the same. Uh, while moving, you still have your super pound. That's still the same. That's still there. You still have your forward swing with uh, X. That's also still there. Everything else is gone. <laughs> the flourish, that's gone. I can't. There is. I can't even grift it. Because if you want to grift it, you'd have to slowly run, turn around, and then do it. If you hit A twice, it will immediately go into crush, which is a really good move because it leads to a lot of things. Or if you're just moving. Uh, while running, hitting uh, A will just immediately give you crush. Now, X, if you do X twice, this multi crush, which does a lot of hits, which is really good for KOs and really good for elemental and or status. And it's really good for a certain soak by move that we'll talk about later. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, next, you can kind of link combos together. For example, one of them is you can do crush into backslam. And uh, you make sure you're not moving the stick when you do your backslam. So you move the stick for crush, let go for the backslam. Or if you keep holding it, you'll immediately go into a super pound. I know it says overhead smash. It's a super pound. Anyway, <laughs> um, but like a lot of the moves link together. Uh, my favorite one, and it loops together once again, uh, this move is really good for a certain silk bind move that we'll talk about later. But uh, essentially, you can just link these together. So it's this, and then into multi crush. And you can kick it back up, multi crush. And then you just go A, X. A, X. And you'll just loop that together. We'll, t we'll talk more about that later. Um, another kind of 
Th this is probably a more sweaty combo. You're like, wow, the monster's down. I don't really want to use a silk bind move right now. Let's get rid of that real quick. That's a that's a buff I have. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You can recital after every swing. So what a lot of people would do is you do crush, recital. Crush, recital. Also, something else about the recital, as you're noticing, it hits low. So you can miss a lot of uh, your hits with the recital. Which is another reason why I prefer uh, this one. Crush, recital. Crush, recital. You can even do forward swing, recital. Double swing, recital. Literally, all the, almost all the moves link together from a move. If you have the switch skill uh, swing combo, if you hit the same button twice, what happens is now your move turns into that. You can still do the multi-crush. It's still there. But now you just can only do it from your crush. Where before, you just hit the same button. Uh, if you hit AA, you'll go the other way. Bars? Anyway, but it doesn't matter because even if you hit A and it says right swing combo, if you're holding left on the second push, you can just make it go left. Uh, same thing with X. If you hit X and then hold left, you can go to the left. Or if you hit X and hold to the right, you can go to the right. So uh, you, you can go either which way you want to. Uh, now we're going to start with the uh, silk bind moves. And the first one that I want to touch on is um side beat now side beat and this is only in echo mode when you do it it will play all of the songs that are on your song bar so you side beat which is this move now good things and bad things one really good stun really good uh, really decent damage Two, you will super armor one hit while you're moving forward. So while you're thrusting forward, you will be darn near completely invincible to anything. But sadly, as you notice, you can once you start, you can't move. You, you can't get out of there. You can change how you're swinging. Like if I'm, I'm holding left right now, you can change how you're swinging. But the moment you start side beat, you're 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 married now. You you you're not leaving until it's done. <laughs> you're not leaving until it's done. Um, second move. I believe it's on this one. I forget. Bead of Renaissance. This is a support move, but has a really good benefit. So anytime you play a song, uh, actually let's move this closer. Anytime you play a song. A little shockwave will come out and damage anything around it. Just, just, just a little shockwave. Um, also, also, if, and this is really good for if you have a horn that doesn't have attack up, um, when you play a song, Beat of Renaissance emits an attack up buff as well. Um, it doesn't, I, don't, I believe it doesn't give me the extra attack buff because I have an attack up on this, but it will give you attack buff if you, do, if you have a horn that doesn't have attack up on it so that's something that you should know and also um since you're playing let's say you have a healing song since you're playing a healing song the healing song will also come from the bead so then whoever's around it will get healed twice as much because they're getting healed from you and getting healed from the bead of renaissance um next bead that we have and this one is a big boy Boom. You play three um, recitals. And what happens? You immediately explode it. <laughs> um, if you have songs on your notes while you play Beat of Renaissance, it will explode faster. So right now I have two songs in it. Play. One song on it. Bam. But... If you have no songs in your musical bar, you will have to do three recitals. Even if you have one song in there, you still have to do three. 
So it's best to make sure you have musical notes already queued up before you um, put this down, just to be a little bit faster. Also, also, you can own this. You have a range. If you extend that range too much and you go too far, it pops prematurely. That definitely sounds like innuendo, but I swear it's not. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna put this back down. Now, some secret tech. There is there are ways to instantly um, pop the uh, Sonic Boom or Sonic Bloom. I'm sorry. One of them, the Magnificent Trio which we will talk about that <laughs> very shortly. Uh, another one is if you use the Infernal Melody, which we'll also talk about that soon, but you can do that out of side beat. Doop, doop, doop. Infernal Melody will immediately pop in no matter what. Magnificent Trio, You're like Una, what was that? You were Eddie Goro for a second there. What was that? Um, if you have one note of each color on your sound bar, you will get Magnificent Trio. Um, all you need to do is just have it on there for a moment. After that, it doesn't need to be on your sound bar for you to have access to Magnificent Trio. You just need to have those in any particular order on your sound bar at once. And then once you do, you have that new little glowy icon. You hit ZR and X. I'm playing on Switch, by the way. You hit ZR and X, and then you just go... And if you noticed, especially with like the recitals, the Hunting Horn has two forms of damage. There is the blunt damage, and then there are the shockwave damage. That's why when I do recital, there are two hits. The first one is my blunt hit. The second one is the shockwave hit. So when you do Magnificent Trio, it hits with two different types of damage. like so once you have that circle filled out that is magnificent trio it gives you another literally flat attack buff for everyone doesn't last too long but it, it gives you a really good buff and you can access that either from doing magnificent trio and then hitting zr after you're done you can access it after doing side beat and then hitting ZR at the end of it or you can have access to it to my favorite silk bind move that the hunt horn has which is silk bind shock wave which does damage as well but essentially you see that's the ice form move where you spin the horn infernal melody is the only time you have access to it is when you fill up uh, the circle which gives you more of an incentive to be more aggressive with your hunting horn and land those hits there is a little bit of a cooldown time before you can start getting um the hits in and to uh, get infernal melody again but it is not too long but silkvine shockwave this empowers your hunting horn where each swing gives an extra little shockwave hit as you can see good news and bad news good news these shockwave hits scale amazingly elementally the more elements you have the more damage that this will do especially if you're fighting a monster that's like weak to that element uh one bad news it kind of just gravitates to whatever really good hit zone is within its area like right here i'm gonna swing forward it still hit the head somehow i i was not aiming for the head i hit over here into the side it still hit the head which is good for damage, but bad for elemental damage. Because let's say there's a monster that it's weak on its foot and you swing near the foot, it'll, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. It'll gravitate not towards what's the best elementally um, good hit zone, but for what the most physically uh, hit zone is. So that's, yeah, but, and this is where it shines. Remember when I talked about the crush multi-crush? For each hit, you gain a shockwave. So if you want to, if that monster's down, you're like, no, you know what? I'm going in. Just stupid hit, stupid damage. And then if you wanted to, you could be like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a freaking magnificent trio because I can. 
all those hits all those hits uh, that's why the joke is that the, uh, this hunting horn is like blunt dual blades hunting horn which I mean, I guess I can kind of get it, not gonna lie. Because usually the Hunting Horn is known for when it swings, its individual swings hit hard. But they took that away from us to make us a more easier to play weapon and we're a lot faster. Especially to deal with these fast freaking monsters. I swear they're faster than like Benny the Jet Rodriguez from freaking Sandlot. But we're not gonna talk about that. Anyway. <laughs> um, and then there's one more Silkbind move. Uh, but the Silkbind Shockwave, it's my favorite. It's my favorite switch skill. Uh, I use it the most. One other thing I forgot to mention is with Silkbind Shockwave, while you're from the moment you start it to the moment your feet touch the ground, you have super armor or possibly even hyper armor. Like you will go through literally every move. Maybe not grabs, I forget, but like other than that, you will go through every moves, um, kind of like shrugging off whatever you got hit with and it won't hurt you as uh, bad. Now, the last one. Uh, this one it, it used to be a staple for me. I use it rarely sometimes, but you know, it's still really cool. It's one of the best uh, early uh, silk bind moves for the hunting horn, and that is the "Are you okay, Busta Wolf?" The "Here's the big one." The "Here's my Sunday's best." Earthshaker. This thing, I believe, scales really good physically, like raw damage, while Sonic Bloom does really good elementally, I believe. Correct me in the comments. Um, but it's really good. It's a really good ender to a combo. It just sit there, just bam, and then bam. Even if you hit it in a really weird spot, I believe it'll still hit with the head. Yeah, it'll still the the um second hit of it will always hit the the head for maximum damage so that's really good uh, now i believe we covered everything we covered the oh wait we didn't there was one more move that i didn't cover and i forget that it's a thing because i never use it the melodic slap uh that's really good for ko damage not good for physical it replaces your super pound uh, as you see, it hits really low, so you kind of have to be, like, if you want to use it cool, you can roll out of it halfway, but it's still a really long animation move. I, I never use it. I just go, I just personally go for Super Pound. Um, but now we're going to go to what switch skills do I use? So what I do is, over at Smash, I am a Echo person. I use Echo. Uh crush attack combo because essentially there's almost no difference unless you want to hit the same button twice then you would want to just go with a swing combo um because to get to crush the crushes it's like it's, it's almost no virtually no difference this is just used a little bit for positioning but you could just roll um i use earth shaker and Silkbind Shockwave, because Silkbind Shockwave is ah, awesome. I switch that to Silkbind. I do Sonic Bloom for this one. I keep Swing Combo and Overhead Smash. So essentially, all I'm switching is three and four. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm gonna be talking about the uh, armor skills and builds and stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to even do that. There's so many different skills and different ways you can build your, your weapons and stuff. I'm I'm not covering all that, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna show you what my build is and you can go from it from there. Uh, this is my talisman uh, and these are my skills. I will show my augments and stuff. But uh, Dragon Conversion Hunting Horn is pretty decent. I know there's much better stuff like Berserk and all this stuff. But I don't like health draining skills. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the Berserk is like the way to go for elemental builds. Uh, build up boost if you want to do raw. But like there's different niches that you could do as well. But um, essentially Dragon Conversion. Uh, you start off. You switch to your blue scroll. You do a couple hits and stuff. And then you switch back over the red. And you get a big old elemental boost. Uh, Furious makes your uh, elemental resistance is higher, which helps with dragon conversion because dragon conversion converts all of your elemental resistances 
into elemental damage, which you'll see right now, everything is, all of my elemental resistances are zero. That's because they have been converted to, uh, actually, hold on real quick, because they have been converted uh, to elemental damage. But when I switch over to blue, now they're all there. But don't worry, uh, this is where Furious comes in. Furious will go up. It will uh, build up my s elemental resistances to give me even more elemental attack. Where am I going? Wrathian is the complete wrong way. We're going to swing over here. And I'm going to show you and do my best as to how uh, I go with playing the Hunting Horn. Now, this is the way you should probably almost always start with the Hunting Horn, which is... Have the monster run away from you. What a silk vine! Shockwave. Okay, I guess we're going this way now. You want a silk vine shockwave because you can go through roars. Uh, can you come over here, please, so we can get a little nice little boss battle over here? Thank you. We're gonna go through that. You're gonna spin twice. So while that's happening, go ahead and dance. Go ahead and roar for me. Oh, I'm surprised that hit. I swear to you, hate that boo. It is just a time waster. Thank you for the blood right or the blood blight. Oh, I could have danced, huh? Thank you. Nope. Oh, I got it. So now I'm at 183 for my element. Oop, that's time to dance. Oof. That would be the Teostra's. I forgot what it's called, but it's a Teostra um, exclusive skill that you, when you turn blue, you will do an extra explosion for damage. There's so much attacking skills in here. You're you're basically, again, you're basically all for one. You're all for one essentially. <laughs> well, I could have danced there. No, well. Chin check or no chin check. Fair enough. I'm wondering when do I do a, uh... Well, uh, and then here comes combo. And like I said, you can still find Shockwave into... Style points. Uh, something I did forget to mention give me the blood thank you is that uh, at the I think the very halfway point of silk Vine sh no earth shaker you have some iframes or well, not iframes you have super armor nope give me that roar please thank you it's so weird seeing those type of damage numbers after coming from ice <laughs> It's, it's so weird. Uh, but this is still my favorite Monster Hunter. Uh, if you are seeing this and you, you know, for some coming to my channel, I started my Monster Hunter journey in three ultimate. Went to four ultimate. Intrepid Heart, thank you. Went to four ultimate generations, then to world, then generations ultimate. Right, Sunbreak. Dance. Oop! Are you okay? Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? I don't feel like dealing with the other monsters. Uh, so let's let let's cut through here. Let's cut through here. I don't feel like it. Okay, never mind. And he's gonna follow us everywhere. Boo! And then he's gonna follow us everywhere. Boo! I made the, huh? I made this so much more difficult than it needed to be. Please don't keep following me, please. I beg of you, please. Just, just, just stay, just stay, just stay over there. You're still moving, please, please. You're still moving, please, stop it. <laughs> All right. You got boost power. Nice. You're still walking. Stop it. <laughs> no, you walked all the way here. You ah. 
Nobody wants you here. Dance. Spin the horn. Uh, I'm just gonna super pound. Here we go. Nice. Uh, reprep mad trio. Up. Oh, oh wait, I forgot that crush combo isn't on this switch skill for some reason. I don't know why I switched that off. That makes no sense. But anyway. But yeah, essentially it's kind of like you're like an inboxer fighter, except you do a lot more hits now. Where before you take it a lot more cautiously in Iceborne, in this one, you essentially the moment a monster stops moving, you could just up flip, immediately just start dancing. Well, depending on how long uh, the time is that they're not uh, moving, like so. So then I would come over here, super pound, kick it back up, crush, kick it back up, dance. Was that optimal? No. Do I play optimally? No, I play for fun. Unless I'm trying to be sweaty because the monster's really getting on my nerves. Flip. Is it the trip? It is the triple. It is the triple. I'm gonna try to be cool. It didn't work like I wanted it to. Roll out the way. Are you gonna flip? Yep. You just barely moved your head. You're gonna stand still. So while you're doing that, oh, I don't have magnificent trio. Hold on, reprep that. Nope. Nope. I think I have time. I did not. <laughs> I was like, don't get up yet. Okay. I was like, I think I have time. Haha. <laughs> Spoilers. Did not. But it's okay. It's okay. I am not perfect, and I don't expect anyone to be perfect. Meek. Mink. Flip. Nice. We're gonna flip. Don't spin the horn yet. Now we're gonna spin the horn. Nice. Also nice. Go ahead and flip. Yeah, why not? Why not? Intrepid heart for the win. I'm trying to tell you. Up. Oh, you ready for that? You can still find shockwave through it as long as you have stun resist, but like the damage it does, I, I wouldn't do it. I I would <laughs> I would strongly be against doing that. Oh, since you're doing that, Dan. Oh, I don't have my silk bond no more. Like I would say, you would probably almost only mag trio if you have your uh, silk bond shockwave up. If you have silk bond shockwave, otherwise, you know, you can just do it normally. Honestly, I mostly like it because I think uh, magnificent trio just looks cool. <laughs> that's that's the main thing. I just think it looks cool. <laughs> doop, doop. Uh, there is roll recital. Actually, I think you're gonna be going to. Yup. <laughs> I was just about to say. I think it's almost about time. Also, I'm really glad that my sharpness is lasting all this time. That's pretty cool. Ooh, you suck. Let's go. Something else I think I forgot to mention, in uh, this mode, when you recital, all of your notes that were on the sound bar go away. But in performance, uh, that doesn't happen. So be mindful of that when you're trying to stock up notes for your mag trio. Are you leaving? You most certainly are. Uh, I think this is probably one of the best times to uh, I think do this. I believe I won't lose my dragon conversion potentially, uh, but the egg is really good for wake up techniques. Let's see if I lose my dragon conversion uh, by coming in here. Hopefully I don't. Let's go ahead and get a little. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little check. Uh, yes. I, well, yeah, yeah, I did. I lost it a little bit. Um, it went down by twenty points. 
All right. So now we are going to walk up here. Here we go. Power rampage. B rampage. And then I do my dance. Rampage speed. Impact. 2000. 2000. Up, oh, we're doing the run. We're doing the run. All right, well, bite, bite. Oh, there's another monster here. Well, I mean, if you're gonna stand there, then spin the horn. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, all right, all right. We're, we're running. He's gonna follow, but uh, I'm gonna try to kill him before he gets to us. There we go. <laughs> I mean, kill her before he gets to this. Um, and that's usually how I like to play uh, Hunting Horn. Um, very, very dodge heavy. Use your Silkbond Shockwaves to like armor through things. Uh, I will say Blood Rite is really good after you break parts because you can heal a little bit. Since you, again, you, we don't have we don't have counters, so that's just kind of how we got to deal with things. Is just through super armor. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to be in the comments, uh, looking and responding to people who uh, might have questions about certain things. But anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Drink your water. And I will see everyone on the next video. Oh, also, um, more than likely, I'm going to be going back to fight Elytreon and I'm going to solo it with uh, the Hunting Horn. So if you are on your Hunting Horn journey, uh, I will be soloing uh, Elytreon to let you know that it is possible.